All right, time now 635. Want to turn to this because a plan years in the making now moving forward. We're talking about this St. Pete Mayor Ken Welch took the first step that was yesterday toward redeveloping the historic gas plant district where Tropicana Field sits right now. Now Monday he announced his pick of Heinz and the Tampa Bay Rays to take the 86 acre plot of land in downtown St. Pete into the future. This morning Mayor Welch joins us live. Thanks so much for getting up early with us. We appreciate having you. Good morning. Great to be with you. Now we want to start with this. You know, you have said that you are fully confident that this is the right decision, the best one to move forward. And I want you to start off by explaining why that is. Well, uh, as a child of the gas plan, I've observed this uh, from its start. And after many, many fits and starts, we finally have a plan that is implementable. And I'm um, elated that we're at the point now where we have a solid partner and a solid plan that is responsive to all of the principles that we laid out in the RFP, be it affordable housing or office space, job generators, or a real sub, uh, substantial tribute to the gas plant community that was dislocated there some 35 years ago. Uh, this responds to all of those priorities, and it's with the partner that can help get it done. Now, Mayor Welch, you mentioned the partner there. Of course, we're talking about costs involved. We're talking about billions of dollars. How can we make all of this come together and uh, bring the community together in the process? Can you kind of expound on that for us? Well, this is this is a feasible plan, and, and I'm an accountant by background, so I love you know digging into the numbers. Uh, Heinz Race brings up 1.8 billion dollars in equity to the table to help get this done. They have 50 million dollars in community benefits uh, to address affordable housing and to support minority businesses. Uh, so they have done this, and they have the track record and the ability to do it. Now, in terms of the stadium, uh, that will be expensive. On the local government side, we have partnered with uh, the Pinellas County Commission, and we'll be asking them for a su substantial portion of the local funding through the bed tax. Uh, as you know, they funded more than $100 million of the current Tropicana field through the bed tax. That's part of what the bed tax is built to do. So we've got a strong local partnership. We have a strong private partner in Heinz and the Rays, and, and, and we have the capacity to get this funded and completed. Now, Mayor Watch, you said that this plan checks a lot of boxes. Of mm -hmm. course, funding is a, a big conversation, but there are a lot of emotions, a lot of promises involved here, too. Yeah. And we heard from black faith leaders yesterday who really questioned the call here, questioned this pick, saying it was the wrong one, uh, saying this is just going to lead to more gentrification and doesn't make good on the promises. What's your response to that? Well, you know, I'm open to speaking to anyone about this. We've held community conversations out in the community where more than 2,000 people responded, and there there's a spectrum of, of perspectives. You know, I've talked to folks who want no affordable housing on the site and folks who want the site to be all affordable housing. It can't answer all uh, of the priorities and, and, and needs of the entire city, but it can make a substantial impact. Um, 1,459 units of affordable housing is substantial. That is what's on the table now, and to me, that's the starting point. We have to be smart about uh, how we implement this. It has to generate jobs as well. Uh, and so as we move forward, we'll continue to have those conversations. I can tell you there are a lot of faith leaders uh, like the IMA who do support this and came out yesterday with the statement. So we'll All right, move we are, forward. We're on... really pressed for time this morning, and I apologize okay. for that. But we cannot let you go without talking about the okay. Rays here who are a partner with this. Uh, but yeah. they reaffirmed very quickly yesterday that there's no guarantee that they're staying. Uh, and that's the big question that a lot of people have right now is this stadium is a central focus, but we don't even necessarily have a team staying. Well, we have a next step of getting a term sheet and a use agreement updated with the raise. It's almost like being engaged and getting married. We're engaged right now uh, until we put a ring on it, <laughs> you know, have that use agreement done, have the funding set up. At that point, the discussion is over. They are committed to St. Pete, and that's what we're driving for to get done over this next year. All right, Mayor Welch, we will keep this conversation going, okay. and we thank you for your time this morning. Thank you all. Have a good one. Yeah, Absolutely. appreciate you.